Picture this. You're walking through a maze, blindfolded. You're not sure where to turn, what to do, or how to navigate. This is often how men feel when trying to understand women's emotions. It's like stepping into a labyrinth of feelings, where every turn introduces a new layer of complexity and depth. It's a journey through a kaleidoscope of emotions, each one as intricate and multifaceted as the one before. Yet, this complexity is not to be feared but rather embraced as part of the rich tapestry of human experience. And here's the good news. You're not expected to have a map for this maze. It's not about solving a puzzle, but about learning to navigate through with empathy, patience, and understanding. That's what we're here to talk about today. We're delving into the fascinating world of female emotions, peeling back the layers to reveal the underlying patterns and nuances. This is Decoding Female Emotions, a guide for men. But fear not, this guide will help you navigate this emotional labyrinth. So buckle up and get ready to embark on a journey of emotional exploration and understanding. First off, let's acknowledge that men and women process emotions differently. It's not about superiority or inferiority, it's simply about difference. Picture it like two different languages, both rich, expressive, and capable of profound meaning, but each with its own unique syntax and vocabulary. When it comes to emotions, women tend to be more expressive. They are more likely to articulate their feelings and delve into emotional nuances. Men, on the other hand, often process their emotions internally. Their emotional language may be more reserved, with a focus on problem solving rather than verbalizing feelings. Now, these are generalizations, of course. Not all men and women fit neatly into these categories, but understanding these broad patterns can provide a helpful starting point. It can help men appreciate the emotional depth and expressiveness that women often bring to the table. And it can help women understand why men might sometimes seem reserved or focused on solutions. So remember, it's not about right or wrong ways to experience emotions. It's about different ways. And understanding these differences is the first step to decoding female emotions. Now that we've acknowledged the differences, let's dive into the core of women's emotions, validation and understanding. We've all heard the term validation, but what does it really mean? Validation in the context of women's emotions is an affirmation that their feelings are heard, acknowledged and understood. It's not about agreeing or disagreeing, it's about expressing empathy and making them feel that their emotions matter. Now, how can men show understanding of a woman's emotions? It's simpler than you might think. Actively listen to her without interrupting or trying to fix the problem. Give her the space to express herself and respond with empathy and kindness. Ask open-ended questions to understand her perspective better. These small gestures can go a long way in showing your understanding and empathy. Remember, women don't always want solutions. Sometimes they just want to be heard and understood. This is where validation comes in. It's a crucial part of emotional intelligence that fosters trust and intimacy in relationships. Remember, validation doesn't mean agreement, but it does mean understanding. Another tricky area is emotional criticism. It can feel like a personal attack, but it's often just a cry for understanding. Men, when faced with emotionally charged criticism, it's crucial to not react impulsively. Instead, take a step back, breathe, and ask for specific details to fully grasp the situation. Remember, it's not about winning an argument, it's about understanding and validating emotions. By doing so, you are better equipped to navigate this emotional terrain. Understanding emotional criticism is like finding a key to the emotional maze. Decoding female emotions isn't a one-time thing. It's a continual process of understanding, validation, and emotional intelligence. Today, we journeyed through the emotional maze, explored the unique differences in men and women's emotional landscape, and discovered the importance of validation and understanding. We also learned how to navigate emotional criticism. Remember, this isn't a race, it's a marathon. Patience, continual learning, and emotional intelligence are your best allies. Ready to learn more? The next video on the screen is waiting for you.